Composite Assistant. We're excited to launch a new interface which enables us to provide a lot more features in, in the future. If you've been a user who has subscribed over the past year, your subscription is under the Google Pay system. In the next few months, we will discontinue the use of using Google Pay as a processor of subscriptions for the Closet Assistant. If you have signed up on the Google Pay system, you can still log in using your Gmail account associated with your G Google Pay account. To log in, you will want to make sure you're logged in on your Chrome browser with your Gmail account associated with the Google Pay account. In the top right corner of your Google browser, you'll want to make sure you're logged in with that Gmail account that's associated with the Google Pay account. Once you have verified that you're logged in with the correct Gmail account, navigate down to Login Using Google. This is the orange button you'll select to log into the Closet Assistant until you switch over to our new Stripe payment system. We're, we are recommending that users log, log into Google Pay and look for when their subscriptions are near renewal. To find your renewal date, log into pay.google.com to locate your renewal date. We're re recommending that users cancel their Google Pay subscriptions a few days prior to their renewal date and subscribe under the new system, Stripe. I'll walk you through the steps on how to look for your renewal date. Navigate to pay.google.com. Once on pay.google.com, navigate to subscriptions. Under subscriptions, you'll see the closet assistant. Select manage, and you'll see when your last payment was made. July 11th, the subscription will renew. We're asking users to cancel their subscription on Google Pay a day or two before their renewal period on Google Pay. Typically, Google Pay has had a cancel option on this page. That option has been discontinued. You'll need to email us your transaction ID a few days prior to renewal on Google Pay, and we can cancel your Google Pay and then update you on the Stripe system. To find your transaction ID, navigate to Activity, Select your most recent activity or payment. On the right pop-up, navigate down to Transaction ID. This is the number that we'll need in an email a few days prior to your renewal date of your Google Pay. Again, if you are using or have been using the old closet assistant and logging in with your Gmail account on your Chrome browser, you can still log in until your subscription is over using the orange button. The options above and login button are for new Stripe customers or customers under the Stripe system. When you first uh, make the switch from Google Pay to Stripe, you'll need to create a new account. This account is associated just for the closet assistant and link to Stripe. We'll set up the process and show you how it works. Once you hit create, you'll see you'll have to enter an email, a password, and select the terms of agreement. I'll enter in that information and walk you through the process in a minute. Now that we have entered our information uh, for creating the account, the Stripe payment system is loading the new profile details. Here you'll see uh, next to your email that you need to verify your email. 
you'll need to click the verify now and you'll need to send the link you have a message that will say that the link was sent log into your email select the link and you'll see that your email has been verified navigating back over to the closet assistant you'll see now your account is verified Entering this information in does not mean that you are now a paying customer. It's just that, create, that you created a new account via Stripe. The next step into creating a subscription is, is navigating down to the subscriptions tab of the closet assistant. You will select the basic package and subscribe. You'll enter in your information and then click subscribe. You'll receive a pop-up message after that that says that your account will be active within five minutes. Once you have entered in your billing information and that you received that message where your account will be active within five minutes, we recommend logging out of the closet assistant and also closing all of the tabs on your browser including closing out Google Chrome. To do this, this will reset the closet assistant to make sure it shares and operates properly. If you have any questions along the way with using the Closet Assistant or getting started, please email us at info at closetassistant.com. We're here to help. Over the next few days, we'll be loading many more videos tonight uh, into the next day or two, answering emails, continuous around the clock to get everybody up on the new system. We've uh, already reached out to many users who have had a few hiccups here or there and uh, are working on a few minor updates to help those users out that seem to be pretty local. Again, any questions or concerns or if you need help, please email us at info at closet assistant PM. Have a good night.